Hello Beertubers and happy 5th of December! Peter, the Master of Hoppets here, looking at the beer, or the 5th beer, from the uh, Sabir Beer slash Hopped Beery Christmas Calendar. So this is going to be the beer for the 5th of December, it'll be fun to see. So far it's been pretty fun. Nothing has really been crazy out of the ordinary yet, but maybe we'll find something and uh, who knows. So 5th of December is right up here, so let's just dig in and get it opened. Uh, there we go. Okay, this one seems a bit easier than the last one. That was hard to get out. Oh, interesting. So here it says this has got a good... Uh, got? That was Danish. Uh, 8 to 10 degrees, serve it at the, that temperature, and then as an apero, and then there's a picture of a cocktail. I don't know what that means, but interesting cap. Oh, Sweden! <laughs> cool. That's really cool. So this is from Oppigords. Uh, Oppigors? Oppigars? Oppigors? Oppigors is what we'd say in Danish. I guess Swedish is just something like Oppigors. Something like that. Uh, but Oppigors probably over in Sweden. Uh, this is their Bach beer called uh, Genstelaboy. So, so I think it's like, like is it German hybrid? Like, why was it German? But it's a hybrid with um, English? Or it's English or Swedish, I don't know. But it's a 7% box, so I guess this is like a double buck. Uh, again, this, oh, cool. So this was also specially brewed for Sevilla beer. That's pretty cool. Wow, a lot of them has been. I'm just pretty sure that the other one I had for the 4th of December was just a different label, because I think I've seen it before. But I'll be going to make some very nice beers over in Sweden. Um, but it's 7%. It doesn't have really any info about, it says, uh, oh, oil, grown I think it's just hops, malt, water, and yeast, like in French. And then uh, that's about it. But 70% box, so I guess it's like kind of like a double box style or something like that. And when you look at it in the bottle, it seems like it's going to be something of that sort. So let's get it popped and poured. Okay, guys, so I'm back and I got the Oppigorts Genstiller Bio Bock Beer, German style Bock Beer, poured. And yeah, it's been a long time since I had a buck. It's 7%, so it could be like Dunkler Buck, it could also be a double buck. Interestingly enough, at first I, I initially think Christmas beer, but it doesn't say anything about Christmas. I don't think like it's like a Christmas type beer at all. Uh, there's like a goose, it probably means goose brew or something like that. It looks like a goose on the label, but we got it poor guys and that pours quite hazy for a buck. You know, buck is a lager beer. This looks like a Dunkler Buck for sure, or a double buck. Um, it's a darker style of buck beer made usually with Munich malt and sometimes also some caramel malts. And they are quite high in ABV compared to um, other lagers. The buck is also can also be kind of translated, it's directly translated into uh, a buck or like kind of like a sheep, one of the big sheep with horns. I think it's a buck actually in in English too, isn't it? And it's in Danish it's book, interestingly enough. But I think Billy Goat or something like that really. But that's kind of like the translation, but Bach can also kind of be translated into strong. But usually they're quite clear, and this one is hazy, but it's from microbrewery. It's what you can expect, of course. And uh, yeah, but it looks nice in the glass. Very nice, hazy, dark copper color. Uh, some slight ruby reddish tones and some off-white head. Let's check out the aroma on the Oppigaus uh, German style Bach beer. It smells quite hoppy for, for like a darker Bach beer. I'm getting loads of like grassy, citrusy hops, like classic noble hop spiciness. There's definitely underlying uh, sweet kind of Munich malt-esque uh, notes, like that kind of crisp pilsnery yet sweet malt aroma that's like kind of caramelly, not, but not completely. But really surprisingly hoppy. I did not expect that when I saw this color, especially because usually double box or dunkler box are not hoppy that like at all, at least the ones I've had. And there's like some candied caramel kind of notes. And there's a bit of that sulfuric note you get in loads of German lagers. Uh, without being too much, it's definitely below the threshold or around the threshold, so it's not too much and goes all eggy. But hey, let's give it a taste, guys. Cheers. That is quite the hoppy buck. <laughs> so it's... I, I wouldn't call this a double buck. Now, now we get into the kind of hard styles with the guessing. Um, mainly because it's soft, yet complex nuances, and they are very much close. Like, Dunkelbach can be very similar to a Doppelbach in flavor profile, 
And I think this is kind of like a modern craft brewer interpretation of something I'd call a dunkler buck. Or maybe just a buck. Like uh, the regular buck beer can also be dark. It do isn't necessarily light, but there's also a style called hella buck, which means light buck beer. So I think maybe this is actually just a standard buck 7%. Not, or, uh, yeah, not, not dunkler buck. I, like this, like there's buck that can be dark, and then there's dunkler buck that's a bit darker and a bit more caramelly. This leads to more more towards like a traditional buck beer that's quite hoppy. Quite enjoyable though. Now there is a bit of that kind of car caramel flavor, sweet malt, not too much sulfuric notes, a little bit in there. Um, grassy, lemony, peppery hop quality like you find, like it's not, it almost is actually, it's almost like what you find in North German Pilsners because it's, it's on the higher side for a buck, at least what I'm used to. Um, but I think it's because the box I've had as of late has always been like the dark ones, the dunkler box and, and double box that are very sweet. And this is not sweet at all, really. Mm. Yeah, uh, crisp. It has a bit of a sweet malt presence, like sweet, but not all the way in caramel. You could think caramel because of the color, but I don't think really it's like it's that caramel. So I, I bet like some of the, like the base for this is something like it's like Munich Pilsner, maybe some Carapils or something like that, like like a real traditional Buck beer where you use loads of Munich malt for the color and not caramel malts. Pretty wise on the Obigos Genstenas Boil Buck Beer. I think this might be one of the best so far in the calendar. Actually, I'm gonna go 87. This is actually pretty good. It's not kind of up there yet. None of the beers have been really crazy good yet, but they've been very solid brews. This one is one of my favorites so far, which is interesting that I'd say that about a buck. <laughs> but hey, that's how it goes sometimes, But because that's not a style I drink at all, you know? But hey, fun, fun stuff, guys. So if you had a chance to check out the Opigos Genstiller's Bio Buck Beer, Genstiller, Genstiller's, Genstiller's Bio, Genstiller's Bio, I don't know. I, I never heard that word, but I know bio, so. <laughs> check it out, guys. Let me know what you thought of it, if you had a chance to try it. And uh, as always, remember to comment, subscribe. Check out the Facebook fan page and Twitter and Instagram. Check out Severa Beer and Hopped. And uh, stay tuned for tomorrow, for the 6th of December. So cheers, and see you guys tomorrow.